You'll often be in a situation where you don't, you have two different layers, but you don't have a common a field that you can actually join these layers on. What JS allows you to do is to look at the geometries of the two layers and actually create a spatial join based on the location that they have to each other. For example, I'm still working with the Erwin here. I'd like to know what the Erwin um, lie on. For example, uh, what kind of vegetation do they lie on or what kind of geology underlies that particular Erwin. To do that, I also do a join, but this time it is a spatial join because these two layers don't have an attribute that they can be joined on. So instead I'm going to use a spatial algorithm or looking at the geometries of the two different files and see where they overlap. To do that I need to find the join attributes spatially. There are two options here. You can join by location, which you can also access through the vector menu there. Here you have one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships. So it will work similar to an attribute join. What you can also do is run statistics on the numeric fields contained in your layer that is being specially joined to the or original layer, the source layer. And to do that you do attri join attributes by location, but you're going to use the summary function. What I'd like to do here is I'd like to know what geology underlies my zoning parcels, my Avon. So I'm going to select the input layer as zoning. I'm going to join this layer to my geology layer. And then I'm just going to use intersect. So there's different options here where it overlaps or within, crosses, touches, equals, anything like that. Intersect is fine or overlap also is also fine. You can also discard the records which can't be joined if there is the spatial or well, the geometry doesn't overlie any of the other ones, otherwise it will be populated with null. And what you'll get with the summary function is a layer that has calculated minimums, maximums, averages, standard deviations, ranges, any of the statistics function. You can also do this in ArcMap using the spatial join there and where you then select which of these statistics do you want. You can run all of them at the same time as well or individually. In QGIS, if you use the tool, it will, they will all run and you cannot actually select which ones you don't want. But ultimately, the spatial join allows you to calculate the summary statistics between the two layers. Depending on the size of your file, of course, also can take quite some time. Once the join has finished, you can actually see what the, tear the fields look like by opening the attribute table. Here's the attribute table. Now these were the fields, the columns that were part of the original zoning layer. Now if you continue here, you can see mean, medium, standard deviation, minority, majority, and so forth. So if I want to know what the geology is of the area that my parcel fall on, I'm looking at, I'm actually interested in my code, because the geology has a code. So you look at, for example, the average code, the mean here. And that then will be the codes that you're interested in. Now these codes can then be linked to the geology codes that are part of this text file. And you can join this information using the attribute join to the table information retained herein. But this is basically how you would create a spatial join using the geometries of two layers when you cannot actually use the attribute fields to join them.